Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. In this video, I've got another simple Utah feature that I think you're going to find is simple but really, really helpful. All right, I'm in service operations workspace. I've got an incident open and a lot of times when we're working on an incident, we want to know something about the caller, the person who had opened the incident, who's having an issue. So you can see Abel Utuder, the architect there. If I click on this little information icon, it brings up Abel's information. I got his user information, everything I need to know about him, and I've got some quick actions, or his other assignment groups actually, just there behind my head. So I can see in his manager some organizational type information there for Abel Tudor. But in Utah, there's another new feature. If you look over here, actually, um, it's just above my head. I'm going to highlight it first, and this looks like a little telemetry or heart rate icon um, over here. I'm just going to put an arrow to it just to make sure you see it there. This is the record information tab inside of Service Operations Workspace. And if you see that record information tab, now you can look at the contact details for Able Tutor without ever leaving this particular tab that we're looking at. So now I can see what his local time is, the location, his email, and even start something like a Microsoft Teams chat. So that's what's new to incidents in Service Operations Workspace in Utah. I told you it'd be quick. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in small but helpful changes in their ServiceNow instance. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.